your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Well, looking northwest on the Graber Post Buildings weather cam, not a lot of color in those trees, but some. If you go to our uh, web page, mywebashvalley.com, click on weather. I've got the links to the uh, foliage in both states. You can track that. Uh, well, here's what we've got so far. It looks like a decent start for kids. Clear, 41, just a light breeze. It's not bad. And here's your joint water tower forecast. Clear in 41. That's going to be a common temperature and low tonight under those clear skies. Here's what we're tracking. Roller coaster temps. Plenty of sunshine. Friday rain. Don't get your hopes up for a lot, though. It doesn't look like it. Right now, next weekend looks good. Although we could use some rain. We've had a lot of good weekends here of late. 74 at the airport. Sunny. Humidity quite low. 33%. Pressure falling rapidly from 30.34. Here's the downside to all this. August was dry, September dry. 3.81 is the monthly average. That's one of the heavier precipitation months in the fall and winter. Not a drop the entire month. We're having a deficit of over three inches, so we'll see where we're at. We get the drought update on Thursdays from the Weather Service. 34 this morning, Paris, 35 at the airport. Effingham checked in at 36. 70s today, including 73 at uh, Bloomington, 74 at Mattoon, and temperatures right now. Uh, just slowly cooling. Uh, it'll take a bit. Temperature trend, I think low to mid 40s north to south tonight, and then pushing into the upper 70s tomorrow. I think some 80s are going to crop up out there too. Have a south southwest wind in here, five, uh, six miles an hour. That's about it. Just enough to stir up the atmosphere. And big picture, another quiet day. Not a lot going on. A couple of systems in the Gulf, Nadine and Oscar, but they're not going to cause problems for the U.S. We'll just watch those over the course of time. Clear skies around the, the Midwest and locally satellite and radar, hardly a cloud to be found. If you're headed out tonight, dinner, shopping, movie, casino, whatever, looks good. Mid-evening, still in the 60s, and then as we approach midnight, starting to get closer to the 40 mark, but it's going to be comfortable overall and put future cast in motion. Go out over the next 48 hours. Boy, when you have all the sunny skies, you warm up above normal. At nighttime, you clear the skies out, you cool off pretty well. You can see a few clouds coming in, especially as we go into Tuesday. Just no rain out of that system. High pressure is still pretty much in control of things. Go out seven days. We'll wait for Friday. Right there. That looks to be a quick moving system. Basically confined to the morning hours. We'll see what Sunday brings as well because we need that rain. Here are your 70s right now. A brief cool down late weekend and more seasonal 60s. And then start to nudge the temp back up into the 70s. So... No real outbreak of cold weather. We're probably going to wrap up the month of October above normal on temps by quite a bit. Now, for tonight, not bad for this time of year. We'll be near the seasonal low of 43. We'll call it 41 for tonight under clear skies. Then tomorrow as you head back to work or school, fantastic start. 80, that's under sunny skies. And then as you look ahead on the seven-day forecast, a lot of sunshine most days. There's your morning shower chance on Friday. You notice it just says morning, so... May not stick around for Friday night football. And then the weekend, oh, uh, more seasonal there. 69 Saturday and back into the 70s on Sunday. Good stretch of weather. Don't worry about that Friday morning rain, Jack. Sounds good. Thank